Legend Total War here, and today we've got a Saving Your Disaster battle, which is kind of like a Saving Your Disaster Doomstack battle, um, where we've got a Doomstack in the making here. Now, I'm sure many of you guys who have watched the channel for a long time will know that um, the Tomb Scorpion is kind of like my go-to unit if we want to go anti-Skaven, right? Um, their animations are really good against Skaven, their anti-infantry, they're really good. But there is one downside to this particular build right now, is that they're fairly low in leadership. And um, what it can end up happening, because these guys here don't have that much health, they can sort of get a chain crumbling going on. And um, they can be winning the battle, but just lose just because of low leadership. Now, this Lord here is really going to let us down, because he's only rank 3 and he's not fast enough to get away from their initial forces. But it wouldn't be worth sitting around trying to get them to save him. So I've got a bit of a plan in mind. And uh, let's see what we can do to save his army. But... It's going to require a sacrifice. What I'm going to do is just abandon my lord right at the start and actually rush to the reinforcements that are coming in. Just let... I know I said leadership's a problem, but I just don't think I can save him anyway. So, if you can't save someone, just don't... No point putting in heaps of effort. He's not going to die because all Tomb King Lords are immortal. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. And enemy reinforcements are coming in from... There they are. So we're just going to go straight over there and have him hold them back while we go do that. Because Tomb Scorpions are pretty quick. We're not on Force March or anything. Yeah, just leave him there. He'll pop down the curse on them. I um, think they've got some Death Glow Bombardiers. Cool, if they want to hit us, go for it. But I'm going to go after the reinforcements. Because if you want to fight Skaven, the best place to fight them is at the edge of the map. Because they're chicken shit cowards. And you can run them off the battlefield pretty quick. Now, problem here, you can already see morale's a big problem. Have a look at some of the breakdowns. Faster, stronger enemies nearby. Yeah. Now, there's quite a lot of storm vermin coming in through here. And we got quick head taker. So, that is a problem. Oh, wow. They are just obliterating their own troops here. Okay, it might be in our best interest not to engage with quick head on. Yeah, just, but they're killing their own troops there. It might be better for us to split up our forces and try to use our speed to our advantage here. As much as I want to just like route that off the battlefield, I feel like with Queek being there, that's, that's probably a bad call. And that's just going so well. It, it's definitely going to suck when our Lord gets wounded, but, you know... Sometimes he's going to make a sacrifice. He's killing so many of them. Well, they're killing so many of their own units there. And these ones here, they're just walking. Yeah, he's not going to survive that. He was never going to get out of there. He's too slow. Too slow. 31 speed. It was never going to outrun this Skaven. Okay, now the forces in here are mostly Skaven slaves. Now, our Lord did just get wounded, so we have a minus 10 leadership now penalty, which definitely going to hurt. But the main thing here is to avoid the faster, stronger enemies penalty. That was hurting us way more than that. So what we want to do... Okay, the Doom Flayers need to go. So even though our Lord did get wounded, what I'm hoping here is that the Faster Stronger penalty isn't being inflicted here. Oh, it's still being inflicted. How? It's the Storm Vermin. I mean, it's the Sc Skaven Slaves. And you also want to be constantly activating the Charge Bonus. Now, the Balance of Power has actually improved a little bit since the beginning of the battle, but we have to watch out because of Crumbling. We don't have any way of healing our dudes here. But unfortunately, the game just thinks that we're weak, even though we're not. Look, at we absolutely smashed these units. But the game just doesn't recognize it at this stage here. Which is the only weakness of this of this army, really, is leadership. If the game just thinks that uh, you're not that strong, you get huge morale penalties. Shouldn't be that bad now, surely. It's getting better. It's getting better. None of them are crumbling at the moment. Let's see, just 
Get all these guys here off the battlefield. I think the plague monks probably did the most amount of damage to us. Oh yeah, they did a fair bit. Alright, bounce power pushed in our favor, just towards our favor a little bit. Alright, um, that's a bit of a problem. These guys here, they're actually, death runners are faster than us. And snitch, yeah, he's... Okay, we'll see how we go. So just get these guys here off the battlefield. And what we want to do is be running around the edge of the map so that when we do stand and fight against them, that we run them off the battlefield. If I have to leave someone behind to deal with it, yeah, I might have to. Fucking weeping blade my ass. Also, I have no idea how much reinforcements are coming in. Okay, now, another thing that we uh, we should keep an eye out is fatigue, but I don't know, we should be unmanaged. Okay, um, there's an isolated flamer unit over here. Let's go for that. Okay, watch it, watch it, watch it. Don't, don't stay in combat for too long. So if you ever look at the leadership penalties there... Yeah, faster, stronger enemies nearby. So we don't want to be in any massive blob. Whenever there's, like, storm vermin around, probably want to try to avoid that. Yeah, it sucks about that leadership penalty. But so many of their own... Look how many rats died taking out one dude. It would be really good if we could kill Snitch. Because we, they're also subject to leadership problems, but I just don't know here. Just don't know. At least these guys here, nobody's really focusing on them, which is kind of good for us. Don't stand and fight, not yet. Another problem as well is that when you get shot by uh, missiles, you you do lose some leadership. It's not tons. Uh, watch out for those rattling guns. Good. If there's more reinforcements to come out through here, now would be a good time for them to come in while we've got troops here. Bouncer power is not in our favor, but only by a little bit. Oh, plus we've got a. Ah, I hate timers. Keep winning by timeout. Alright, so what I want to do here is try to get some of these Skaven Slaves here off the battlefield, but just get them close to the edge of the map so that they, they run. Okay, there's quick. I don't see any other lords in there, so it kind of indicates that there's only two armies. I'm just not sure. But yeah, all of them are just focused on these guys here for some reason. Alright, speed this up a little bit. See, when this army is fully developed and you're, you've got them to, I don't know, 6 to 9 experience, and you've got a lord on a um, Cambrian War Sphinx, makes a big difference. Of course, any leadership upgrades would also be good. Yeah, so the big question here now is I just don't know if there's any more reinforcements to come in. Okay, so now that the uh, Lord's been dead for a little while, it's only a minus 10 leadership penalty there. And the exhaustion's minus 6. So letting them become fresh would help a bit. But yeah, if we just charge right into that, it's not going to cause a mass rout. Okay. Let's start spreading out some of these units. We need to get their units isolated. We can't go into a huge blob against them because we're the ones that take the leadership penalties. We've got to take them out a little bit at a time. It's good. They recovered. 
Even though the bounce of power is even, if we go charging in there, I'm not confident that we'd end up on top. Although the Death Globe Bombardiers shooting into the Storm Vermin would be hilarious. So, still trying to recover over here a little bit. Seems like they're just entirely focused on one unit. Some of our guys here, they're just not recovering their fatigue. Okay, Snitch is coming in hard and fast there. Okay, if we can get them far enough away from Queek's army, I wouldn't mind sniping uh, Snitch if we can. Or at least just getting him off the battlefield. Because believe it or not, Tomb, Cor uh, Tomb Scorpions are good at handling Snitch. if we're fresh. Right, get rid of this one here. There should be nothing. Just charge on in. It's going to instantly break. Cool. These ones here are nothing but a nuisance. But if I go charging into them, I think that'll be a problem. Uh, as much as the Death Glow Bombardiers could be good to kill off other rats, could cause us leadership problems. Okay, we're going to charge in here just briefly until these guys get a little bit closer then we're going to pull away. It could be that Death Master Snitch is the reason why it says faster, stronger enemies nearby. Also could be Storm Vermin. Okay, so we have a bit of an attack in there and then go for Snitch. Yeah, you can see that we're teetering on the edge here of leadership. Which is not good. Might smash snitch up. If you have a look at snitch, he's, he's. I think he did most of that damage to the enemy, uh, to our lord, sorry. I don't know if we're going to get him in this engagement. Because the problem there is I think they keep stun locking him. Like, knocking him down, I mean. Okay, get away, get away, get away. It's not good. Don't go into a blob like that. It's not good. Keep moving, keep moving. Now it's just not the time to go for Snitch. Keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving. Our units don't route, but they crumble, which means we... Yeah, another problem is, as we continue to take damage, it's going to be harder and harder to maintain our morale. Because our lord's dead. He's going to go for it. He's just too quick. But Snitch is just such a good fighter that it's really hard to kill him quickly. But wherever possible, cycle charge. Storm Vermin with Halberds, I don't think they're doing that much to us, but we've got to keep cycle charging through them. If we have a look, yeah, they're, do they're doing a bit of damage. Problem is, I feel like I can't take any because of how, even at full strength, we're having units essentially routing. It's just going down. Is he doing damage to us? I can't check. But some of our units are gaining more experience, which is good. It's like one extra leadership here and there. Come on, I gotta get rid of him. It's about as isolated as we're gonna get for this fucking storm vermin unit here. It's just about to break. Good, it broke. Maybe been terrified. Don't know. 
But we're close to the edge here, so hopefully they just leave. Bounce Bale's improving, but I'm just worried that we're just gonna, like, just crumble to death real soon. Come on. It's not these guys' fault. Snitch is just a really strong fighter. Constantly got a cycle charge. Because when they're charging at a unit, they gain a morale bonus. It's really, really important. Come on, Snitch. They're getting him. It's just taking a while. Get rid of all this shit here. I definitely prefer to wound him as opposed to... Um, Route him off the battlefield, but honestly, I'll accept the route. Bouncer power's improving. But yeah, we, we got some guys crumbling. Stay away from those rattling guns if you wouldn't mind. And where do you think you're going? Come on, guys. God damn, Snitch is so hard to get rid of. Alright, we're getting loads of charges on him. Okay, he's just about to break. I think he just broke. Can we wound him? No, he left the battlefield. Okay. Well, leaving the battlefield's better than nothing, because at least we've got a short... Uh, penalty to their leadership, which I want to make use of. Okay, since there's loads of Skaven Slaves in here, I'm going to charge in here briefly. We've got to watch out though, because Rattling Guns are there. This could be a little bit risky. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. It was just, just one little bit, that's all I wanted. Get out of there. Bounce Bell's still in our favor, but we can still very much lose this. You know, those rattling guns decide to shoot at us, we're in big, big trouble. What we need to do now is recover our fatigue. Yeah. See, another thing is that normally you'd have a Lord on a, um... That would have, uh, rege that regeneration ability, so you could heal them. I don't have that right now. So yeah, Tomb Scorpion Army is like... One of those things where at rank one, it's kind of shit, but you, there's so much you can do to boost it. And that's what makes it so good. But we're, we don't have any of those things here. Let's fucking go here, crumbling. Come on, move, 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 move. Problem here... Okay, this guy's dead. There's not much I can do about it. Just send him in. Once they reach a certain threshold of leadership, there's basically no saving it. Okay, move over to that. Alright, alright, alright. I really don't want to win via timeout, but... God damn it. It's going to be... Time consuming between each engagement. Bouncer power is in our favor. Given enough time, we probably could win. But what I really need to target more than anything right now are those rattling guns. But yeah, it all just comes down to leadership here now. Definitely would have been better if we could have um, hit Snitch. Because they've uh, completely lost the leadership penalty. And our guy couldn't rout. Right? Impossible for him to rout. And there was no way to get him out of that situation at the start. Okay, they're spreading out their units. That's what we want to see. All of their units are super tired. That's really good. Alright, hitting a bunch of these ones here. Soon should be fine. Just get them far enough away from the rest of the units. And while it's going on, these guys are here having a bit of a rest, which is good, because that's leadership. It's not, not a lot. But every bit of leadership counts. Okay. Now we send them back over here and we'll pincer these guys. Right, in you 
go. We get hit once or twice, but there's no escape for them. Good, it's playing Tomb King's music. That gives us a little bit of hope. Um, when it comes to Queek, probably best we just ignore him entirely. Because he is a very good fighter, and I just I just don't want to deal with that shit. That's it, just get him off the battlefield there. Nicely done. Cool. Funnily enough, the Skaven Slave Slingers weren't worth a lot of bounce power, but they're one of the more dangerous units just because they cause leadership problems when they shoot at you. Alright, I want to get rid of this Skaven Slave here. Shouldn't do much, it's just because it's isolated. It. Should be able to get rid of it relatively easily. Good. Also, the more they fight and get some experience, the better. Okay. We need to separate our guys again. Try to... Uh, get them to separate their forces. We pick it whichever one's weakest. I really want to charge at those rattling guns, but they've got two rattling gun units. So if I just charge in on that one, then the other one will get me. So i got to be absolutely certain before I make that attack. I'm feeling like I could. Is there... Oh, now they changed their mind. Separate them a little bit more. Just watch. Okay, then change their mind again. Okay, that's good, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna go for it. Uh, are we gonna get it without it shooting? That'd be awesome. Because, yeah, that unit you know, there's such a pain in the ass because it slows us down when they shoot. Hopefully, the other ones don't turn around. Storm vermin. Another one over there. Just, just, just hang on, hang on, hang on. Really want to get rid of the rattling guns. Don't let them shoot at all. when he is getting the shit kicked out of it, which is good. Which is good. I'd be willing to sacrifice a single uh, Tomb Scorpion if we get rid of this rattling gun here. Ugh. That's a bad one for them to shoot because that one's at full health. I really could make use of that. Mount power's improving, though. Ugh, God. That's so much damage. We're almost out of its range, though. Do not let this one here get away. charge in there. Just, um, great thing about Snitch, though, is that he's not as fast as us, where, um, Snickers was. So oh, fucking hell. It, what's his name? Queek is not as fast as us, but Snitch is. Or was. It's gone now. Alright, looks like we're gonna get out of this without losing any, uh, Tomb Scorpions, but we did take some damage. If we have a look, it did 2,500. This one here did nothing. That's good. Yeah, we just got to try to get that army losses. Alright, I don't really want to rely on the Death Glow Bombardiers shooting their own troops in this situation here. Because... The problem here is not our ability to fight. The problem here is our ability to keep our men in order, and that causes morale damage. Any kind of missile attack on you will cause morale damage. Let's get rid of those rattling guns there. That other one's probably going to rally. Oh, 
Okay, good, that one's gone. One rattling gun down. Alright, don't worry too much about the Death Glow Bombardiers. Not, not critical that we focus on them right now. But what's going on over here is interesting. Just gotta get away here. And the Rattling Gunner did come back, but there's only a handful of them there. Bounce Power's looking pretty good. Pretty good. We'll still lose if we just go charging in there, though. Yeah. Don't crumble. Alright, these isolated units over here. The Plague Monks. Those are some fairly high-value units, so that would be good to attack. But I've got to, um... I gotta get there first. Just swing around and get at them. Because if these guys here fighting there, they might win, but it might just be a trade-off and we can't really afford that. We need to get like a good solid win. Okay, turn around now. They're just fighting Skaven Slaves. That's no big deal. So I took these guys down this way to just lure some of them away. Which worked. And remember, we gotta be constantly charging. Gotta get those charge bonuses. Not for the actual stat increase, but for the leadership, which I guess is a stat. Good, come on, beat the crap out of these plague mice. If you have a look at them, they have not done much damage. That's good, that's what I want to see. Pinning me down over there. Good, that unit is of no threat to us anymore. Bounce Pals just keeps on creeping, a little bit more. That's what, what we needed, just lots of little victories. Oh god, that's really... Cowardly fucking scorpions here. Now, the thing is, when we get them really badly damaged, like we did with the uh, Plague Monk, and we don't finish it off, it's totally fine because. Just being around it will probably cause it to rout next time because of our fear and terror bonuses. Oh, this clan rats actually did a fair bit. Just avoid storm vermin. At least for now. Alright, Queek's hanging back ages back. Alright, look, let's get over to the edge over here. Bring those Storm Vermin over here. If we can cause them to break close to the edge, that'll be really good. Because that'll be worth a lot of bounce of power. Hopefully nothing. It's done no damage so far. I'm feeling real sluggish. Okay, our units are definitely faster than them, but it still struggles to get away. Okay, set up a trap. And let's spring the trap, specifically on the Storm Vermin. Don't worry about the uh, Scaven Slave Spears uh, too much that much. Not important unit. So what we want to do here, this one here doesn't have anti-large. We just need to gain some bounce of power. We want to get the army losses and just win. So far, I think we've only lost one Tomb Scorpion. Which, if we can walk out of this with just one casualty, well, apart from the Lord, I'd be pretty happy with that. And I think the other guy would be as well. The guy sent it in. There we go. Storm Vermin ran. How much damage did it end up doing? Not much. Not much. Good. Get everyone else routes. Good. 
Alright, we've really thinned them out. That bounce of power is looking good. And yet, I still don't feel super confident about just charging in there. Not yet. Give it just a little bit more. So just get these guys here off the battlefield. Alright, you should be able to fight that. That's no problem. Feeling like they could actually handle a fight. Just watch out for the storm vermin. But once again, constantly be charging on new, new targets. Just keep charging. Need to get that morale bonus, which will compensate us for our general having been dead. Hopefully that hits a lot of their own units. I don't know if it did. Panzer power's looking good. Just need that army losses. Okay, bring these guys out. Going to sort out the um, rattling guns over here. A couple of routing units, but I don't think they matter that much. Ooh, it's going to hurt. Yeah, I think we're going to lose a few more. Tomb Scorpions, I think. It's just because of the crumbling now. We, just, we need to get this victory as soon as possible. Or maybe, maybe I did this prematurely. We're just not gaining bounce power. I'm going to back off. I think we can still rally most of the units. I think some of them are... Maybe too far gone. Stay away from Queek. Come on, get rid of that rattling gun. Yeah, I think it was just a little bit too soon there. Yeah, some of our guys are... Yeah, I think I made a mistake with that. Even though the bounce of power is in our favor, we can still lose this. It's all coming down to morale. It's another one gone. Yeah, I definitely misjudged that. I thought they'd do a lot more damage. Come on, keep moving. However, they're starting to split up their troops a bit more. This one here's... It's not going to rally, even though it killed off the unit. Problem here is, like, when you take out a Skaven Slave, it just doesn't really mean much <laughs> towards the balance of power. We've got 10 minutes left on the timer, but I don't want to win that way. So I think we've lost like four Tomb Scorpions now. Oh, probably more than that. Come on, I need you to go over there. Man, I feel so sluggish. But yeah, if you can maintain their morale, really good units. But that's the fucking problem, isn't it? They're not maintaining their morale. They're losing, like... Winning... Routing, to, not routing, crumbling to Skaven slaves there. These guys here just won't get away. Alright, I think this one is done for. It's finished. Yeah, that attack there is probably going to add time onto the battle here because we were probably really close to the army losses. And we just didn't cause enough morale damage on them to get them to properly break. Even against the Skaven Slaves here, they're just not... They're not going for it. Oh, that one's crumbling as well. And crumbling just does so much damage to Tomb Scorpions. They really can't stand it for very long. See how much that little engagement really hurt us.
But we're not done yet. The Bouncer Bell is still in our favor. But I'm just not sure if we're going to win this with, um, not with the timeout. I really wish people wouldn't send, <laughs> send them in with the timeout. Because I don't, I don't change any of your settings. Okay. I really don't want to win by the timeout. But if I just go charging in, we're going to lose. Just not gaining bounce of power anymore because fighting damn Skaven slaves not worth any bounce of power whatsoever. And every time we go crumbling, we lose tons of bounce of power. I don't know if they should fight Quake. Quake is what was the highest amount of balance power. He's anti infantry. Might just have to do it. He's, he's worth the most balance of power. If we dish out enough damage to him, it'll probably cause the army losses. If we want to win this without winning the timeout, that's probably the best way to go about it. Because we can constantly disrupt him. He doesn't have a heal potion. He does not. Okay, that's good. But he does have... Yeah, okay, that's fine. feel like he's doing enough. Just keep knocking him down. Nah, it just didn't do enough. Too much of a risk to fight him. Did he do any damage? Yeah, he did. Oh, we still got five minutes. I don't know how we're going to do this in five or oh, six minutes. So I need to take out a high value target without losing too much balance of power because it's all relative. You know, it's not about just defeating 78% of their forces. We have to maintain a certain amount of ours as well. Okay, so this storm vermin chased us over here. Gives us another chance to fight quick again. I think the balance of power has improved a little bit. Actually, does some damage on the charge there. See, he just knocks him down. Okay, now they've done some serious damage to him. That's what we want to see. Here, bounce of power's pushing. That's what we want to see. Give us that army losses. God, he's starting to go down now. If he routes, we can run him down. And there we go. We have actually managed to win it. Yeah, that was tough. If it was a full strength to Scorpion army, it wouldn't have been difficult at all. But um, it's not there yet. Unfortunately, a few of your Tomb Scorpions get wiped out. But the ones that live on will be better next time. Don't need to run him down. He's wiped out because he's in auto resolve. So how many died? Seven. Well, six Tomb Scorpions. I probably could have gotten through that losing a lot less if I didn't make that big rush in a few minutes ago. But I just underestimated their morale and our morale. But you can see here, they all got tons of kills. They're very good against Skaven, but you just got to keep their leadership in check. Uh, that's why it's important before you send the um the tomb scorpion army into fights at the skaven you should probably train up a lord so they've got those various abilities to keep them in check the so we'll just go into his turn and i'll uh, explain exactly what you want to do if you want to make the tomb scorpion doom stack um because yeah fresh units they just don't perform anywhere near as well as the elite Nine tiers of experience, or even better still, just fresh units, but with a good general. Alright, so that army was somewhere in here. It looks like he's doing pretty well against them. You can recruit them at rank 
12. Why? So that was the guy that got wounded. Okay, why did you have that guy at rank 3? If you could have had him at rank 12. Because you could have put him on a skeleton chariot. Okay, so here's what you want to do, right? Um, let me just save the game here because it's not a legendary. Send it in. Send it back as is. What the hell? Oh, his army's damaged, right? All right. Quig's army got wiped out. So Cambrian War Sphinx is good, but what you want to get is... Where is it? So, extra stats for them. Pretty good stats as well. Extra charge bonus, melee attack, and weapon strength. And then just whatever. Other points. Which one is it? Ancient Stone? Yep, extra leadership for Tomb Scorpion. That's when they get above rank 7. Um, that's really good. So weapon strength and magic resistance. And then resurrect. Being able to heal them and keep them from suffering morale penalties. From being damaged. That's what you want. And having s just someone that's able to keep up with them is ideal. So even if you've got it on a skeletal steed. That would have been so helpful in that battle there. Um, instead of having that stupid shit rank fucking 3 dude. Now, another thing, there's a trait that you can get, but he doesn't have it at the moment. Look for Treacherous. I don't think that you've got it anywhere, but let me just check. If you can get Treacherous, it doesn't work on heroes. No, he doesn't have any Treacherous characters, at least as far as I can see. Can have a look through here, see if there's any Treacherous dudes. No, there's no treacherous dudes whatsoever. But anyway, you want to get a treacherous lord, but no treacherous heroes, because it's bugged for the heroes. But I believe it just provides five extra melee attack and melee defense for the tomb scorpions. Now, the thing is here, remember how we were taking so much leadership because it was saying faster, stronger enemies nearby? If you improve their stats, they'll feel more confident about being going up against stronger units, so you're not going to suffer those leadership penalties. Um, there's definitely benefits in, in your army seeming weaker than the enemy, so they make foolish attacks. But the thing is, in order resolve, the Tomb Scorpions don't perform well, even when they're fully buffed up. So generally speaking, buff them up as much as possible, especially with the leadership. That's really important. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.